learning. Uh, so today's topic is GST or tax. So what is the GST or tax? That is a string class. So how to access a string in Python? Basically, a string is an immutable. So what is the immutable? So it's not the grown. That that means uh, once you fix the string there, you can't change that. Um, size of the string. That means uh, once the string is created, the size is not the change. That is called an immutable. So how to be accessing a string in Python? So if you want to give the string as an input with the help of input function. Uh, so already we see about what is the use of the input function. Yes. So what is the need of that input? You just get the input from the keyboard with the help of the input function. So likewise, we are using the same input function to return the string from the keyboard. That means we are getting the input of the string from the user. Next one, print function displays the string on the monitor. So next one, uh, the main function is called print. So once you get the string, you just want to print the same string in, to the word monitor that is it to print the output with the help of print function okay next one how to create a string you want to create a string with the use by using of str constructor that is in str means uh, to create a string for example s equal to str of function so in this we, there is no element inside the bracket uh, that it is called as an empty string. It's called as an empty string. So, so the next example, yes, equal to str of welcome. So in the second example, we have a content inside the str function. So here, the welcome is a string the creator and is stored into the string called yes. The string can be imposed by either double or single quotes. That means the inside the, the string function, you just uh, leave the string with the single quote or double quote. So you mention it is a single quote or double quote. After that, the basic can address which is a string. Although the single quote is all or more commonly used. So either the using of double quotes or single quote. The two things are uh, common to creating a string, that means declaring a string. So how to access in a string? The string can be accessed by index operator and slice operator. So what is in the index operator? Uh, so basically, we have an array. What is the use of that array? And how the elements are stored in the array? Uh, if you want to create an array with uh, some specific size. So in this array, we are declaring some elements. So the first element which is stored in the index of zero or the second element is stored in the index of one. Likewise, the elements are stored in the index. The same thing, the string can be accessed with the help of index operator and slice operator. So what is the index operator? The string is a sequence operator. That is a uh, given the string and it is stored in the uh, next, by next trip. Operator that is called as a sequence operator. A character in the string can be accessed through the index operator. So, what is the syntax for accessing a string? First one, string name. So, within the square bracket, give the index value. So, this is a syntax. So, how can we access the element? Uh, let's see the example. So, yes equal to program. So, yes is called as a string name, and program is the Content. So the content which is uh, enclosed is the double quotes. Double quotes are single quotes. Here we are using of double quotes uh, the, the string called program. So if you want to access the element with the index. So suppose I give a s of zero. The index always must be starts with zero. S of zero up to s of one, s of two, three, four, five, and six. So S of seven, S of six. Uh, the S, the 
P, the first character, which is stored in the index called S of 0. And the next character, which is stored in the next index. And then, sequentially, the each and every character is stored in the next by index index. So, if you want to access the element of S of 2, so it's the element is stored in S of 2, the P is in S of 0, and S of 1 is an R, 2 is in S of 2. The output is a low. In the S of 6, the index of S of 6 is an M, in S of 0, so it is a P. So, suppose we have a S of 7, actually we have store, uh, we have a only uh, 7 characters, the index will start with 0 to 6. But we even the index called S of 7. So now that now it's taken as the uh, index for out of range because there is no element in the index S of 7. So it will print the out of range. So that is called as an so not growable. That is a so uh, previously in the starting of the class, we will see about. It is an immutable, right? Immutable. So it is an immutable string. It is called as an example of immutable. So Python also allows the use of negative numbers as index to representation related to the end of the string. So in the other languages, we just give the index only in the negative positive numbers. But in the Python, we are also using of negative numbers too. So how to answer, how to using of these negative numbers in the, as an index? So for example, s equal to program. So using of s of 1, s of minus 1. Uh, so it takes the uh, index from the right to left. Right to left. But in um, it isn't positive, it takes the index from left to right. But in the, but here, it takes the right to left. And s of 1 and s of 2. Next one is a slicing operator. The slicing operator returns the size of the string. That means uh, simply we said that it is a divided of the string, dividing of two or three parts of the string. That is a slicing operator. So what is the syntax for the slicing operator? String name, start, colon, and end. So it is a starting index, and end is an ending index. For example, s equal to welcome. So s of zero to 0, colon, 4. So that means so take this, this string to 0 to 4. 0 to 4 means 0, 1, 2, 3. So up to S of 3, it takes as the uh, output. But it not take as the S of 4 because of it takes uh, only 4 elements. So 0 to 4 means it takes as the 4 elements. So that's why we get the output of W in W E L C. Next one S of 1 colon minus 1. That means minus 1 means that is it starts with minus 1 in the right to left. So 1 means E. So E L 0 M. So E is a minus 1. So up to minus 1. Next 5 to minus 5. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5, nine, five minus 5 to up to minus 5. There is no element in the this particular index. So that is the example for sizing operator. Next one, functions for string. We are having a lot of functions for the string manipulation. First one, max of string name. What is the max of string name? It returns the largest number of the given string. Largest number among the given string. So s equal to welcome. So uh, just given the max of s. So what is the output? W. Why the input is W? So based on the ask value, W is the highest asking number. So it is the maximum of this given string. Next one, minimum of string name. The syntax is minimum of string name. It is the smallest number among the given string. So the taken as the same example is equal to welcome. Which one is the smallest? E, right? Yes, e. Next one, length of string name. So what is the length of string name? It is the length of the given string. So S equal to welcome, ln of S. So total length of the uh, string S is a 7. The next function is a, the list, the next function is a, uh, 
comes under the list of operators. The list you have is only more operation like plus and multiply that is concatenation and in, not in, in and not in. So basically, uh, the list of operators this is good to to add adding up two strings or multiply up two strings that is that means the concatenation and then in. If there is a element in particular character in the string or not, that is an in and not in. The following basic operation performed in the list: first one concatenation, next one repetition, next one inversion. So the concatenation is the process of combining two list elements with the help of plus operator. So for example, I give him the input as w e plus comes. The plus is is due to the combining of two list elements. So they got the output of will come. To repeat the list of elements in specific number of times, that is a repetition. So already. We said that uh, multiplication number is called as repetition. So the example is W E L into three. If the the W E L uh, printed the three times, that is a repetition number of times. Just to remember, see to find the specific elements in the list or not. So example is W E L will come. If there is any uh, element called W in the given string, either true or false. So in this uh, given string, the W is this there. So the output of true. Next one, how to convert a string or methods? Um, so based on the some methods. First one, capitalize. What is the capitalize? It converts the character to uppercase. Capitalize means it converts the first character to uppercase. Uh, the our example is yes equal to K N C E T. So using our yes not capitalize. The first letter will be change into an uppercase. Next one, count. Count of uh, what is the count of method? It repeats the number of times as a specified value occurs in a string. That means how many times the particular character is repeated in the string. So, for example, S equal to K and C equal to S dot count. It checks how many times the K character will be repeated in a string. There is uh, output is an one. Suppose uh, uh, my example is in K K C E T. So if now we given as a uh, string called is that count of method count of K. So what is my output? Is in two because our string is in K K C E T. Next one title. So title means is convert the first character of each word to uppercase. That means title case. Uh, the first letter of the every string will be is in uppercase. So is equal to welcome file. So yes, dot title. So what's my output? The first letter of the first string W is an S, and the second first letter of the second word that is a converted into S. That is called as a title case. Next one lawyer, which is used to convert into the string into lawyer case. Yes, which is of this matter S dot lawyer. Next one upper half method is converted into an Upper case of method convert into a string as upper case. Next one swap case. The swap case which is used to convert the lower case to upper case and upper case to lower case. If the string is a suppose if the character is in uh, lower case, it converted into upper case. Uh, either this character is in upper case converted into lower case. So S equal to K in C D. The the last letter in capital. So by using a yes or swap case method. So convert a string as a first four characters will be in caps, and the last character is in small. That is called a case. Next one, replace of replace method. What is the use of replace? To replace the some string or character into the uh, character into the already given string. Return the string where a specific value is replaced with a specific value. So S equal to five and below. So it's not replace of five, you know, again C V T. So we want to replace the old character to new character. So K and C step already given character is the high hello. We want to replace the high and K and C V T. To convert uh, to replace the high to K and C V T. So K and C V T hello. Next one testing of string. It is an E solve for numeric and then E solve for E square case. Next one, e space, e subtract. So already we discussed these three methods uh, as earlier. Next one, comparing two strings. 
by using of this uh, comparison operator that is greater than or less than or greater than or equal to to check the um, strings the characters are uh, greater or not that is uh, it will uh, always comparing the strings with the help of ascii value the small letter starts with 97 upper case from 65 So, for example, K in A equal to K in C P, B equal to K in C P. By uh, using of A equal to B, to check whether the string is equal to the another string. So, A is in our string K in C P. It is in caps, and then second string has in K in C P is not. To check whether it is in equal, definitely it is in false. That's from how to iterating is free. Um, so all the string is an iteratable. So how to iterate the string with the help of looping statement? That means using a for statement to traverse all the characters in the string sequentially. For example, S equal to K in C A T. So for I in S. So that is an in uh, using of this for loop uh, to check the string. That means to traverse the string to i. That is it. Uh, so first to first to i of zero is it k? I of one is one n, and next character is c, e n t. The string uh, traversing to the i and into the same string in, into the output. So that is the iterating of a string. Uh, that's all about the string methods. I hope you all understand about the string methods in Python. The next loop on loops concepts in string we'll discuss in the next class. Thank you.